Hi, this is Patricia Agner from the Rutland City Public Schools, and I'm going to show you how to create a Google Classroom. I went to classroom.google.com. I also could have gone over here and clicked on Classroom. Those are two easy ways to get there. If I click on the plus sign, I have a choice of joining a class or creating a class. If I'm a teacher, I'm going to create a class. I've just created a classroom. I gave it a name, a section, and I associated it with a department. And here is my classroom. It's called Tech One. Here's my image. I can select a theme. I can go with patterns or a gallery. I'm going to pick a gallery photo. I also have the option of uploading my own photo, which can really personalize my classroom. You'll see here I have at the top a stream, students, and about. I have no work due soon topics, a stream area. In the stream, I have the choice of creating and reusing posts and other things. And over here on the left in navigation, I have my classes, my calendar, my to-dos, and all of my courses, plus my archived classes and settings. I'm going to invite a student. Now, I could share this class code, and if I'm doing this in the classroom, which is so easy, I can display it on the board, even bigger, and kids would go to classroom.google.com, hit that Join button I showed you at the beginning, and enter this code and they could join your classroom that easily. You can also invite students. I'm going to use Test Principal and invite them. So now I've invited students. I'm going to go to my About section, and I should have done this first. I can add my class materials. So I could add my syllabus. I could upload it from my computer by clicking here, and I could drag files here. I could also go to my drive. I have a team drive, and I love using starring, but we don't have time to talk about that. This takes me to my drive, and look, it really looks quite the same. I could also add a YouTube video. Let's say I made a YouTube video walking the kids through my classroom, my expectations for the year, my grading. I could add those things right here. And then the last thing I could do is if I had any links that I wanted to send them to, the school district website or my building website, I could add that here. And I would have a list of things that stay pretty static for the school year or for the semester, whatever your time period is. Over here is a class drive folder, a classroom calendar, and a Google Calendar. 